Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, wonderful to have everybody. Really wonderful. Uh, we really have to learn more for what's going on in Eretz Yisrael. Remember, I'm the Isayu Raglainu Bisharayak Yushalayim when are I'm the Isayu Raglainu Bimilchama when there's learning Bisharach Bisharayak. Hakol Kil Yaakov that controls Yudayim Yudayi Esav. Um, we uh, are holding uh, we're holding by uh, Perik Vav, Mishnah Dalid and Mishnah Hay uh, and uh, we'll learn sponsored by the Fisher family, Lili Nishmas Basi Bas Rabbit, Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi, Peo Bas Ruvain, Lili Nishmas Avram Yeshaya Ben Shmayo Yosef, the Schus of Avram and Yom Ben Shmalk Yudas and family, Le Fush Lema Feli Yomash Mechai Sar, by Yom Kudden and family for my Shvar, Yeben Rivka, for Hayelet Ben Chav and Meir Ben Chai Sar, Lili Nishmas Shol Ben Tuvia. Um, so Kain Gadol, Lo yis almana bein almana min ha'erisin bein almana min ha'nesuin. A kain gadol can't marry a widow whether she was only widowed after being engaged. Uh, of course, if she was widowed after being married. Lo yis es ha'boygeres. She's not allowed to marry, he's not allowed to marry a girl that's over 12 and a half in one day because some of the virginity is disintegrated and it says ki yim besula me'am of yikachisha. Rebbe Eliezer, Rebbe Shimon, Machshirim, Baba Yeris. As long as nobody slept with her, she's still a Besula, and the Kohen Gadol could marry her. However, Lo Yisa is Mukas eight, but she's not al- he's not allowed to marry a uh, woman who lost her virginity, even not by way of a human being sleeping with her, even if she lost it to a splinter, to a piece of wood, and she doesn't have a virginity, he's not allowed to marry her. Here's an interesting situation. Eris es almana. He got engaged to a widow when he was a kain hedya. And then they appointed him as a kain gadol. Ben Isman is kain gadol. Can he take her now? So he was engaged to her, beheter, because he was a kain hedya. But now, before he sleeps with her, he becomes a kain gadol. We learn out from Psukim that he's allowed to marry her. Omaisi b'yishuv and gamla, the mission it's a maisa uh, 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 to bring a raya. Omaisi b'yishuv and gamla, there was an incident with yishuv and gamla. She kiddishes martabas baitis. He got engaged to martabas baitis when he was a regular kain. Ominoya melech liyos kain gadol, and then the king appointed him as a kain gadol uknasa, and they allowed him to marry her. Shemeris Yovam Shenofla Lifnei Kayin Hedi. No, this is a different situation. Avram was married to Sarah. Avram died childless. Sarah falls to Shimon, who is a regular Kayin. Now remember, Sarah is a Hamana. Her husband died. But she's just a Shemeris Yovam. There's no Kedushin. But this man is Kayin Gadol. And then Shimon becomes appointed as a Kayin Gadol. Even if Shimon already made a Mimer. Even if Shimon already made a Mimer, Kedusha Yavamin, with Sarah, he can't take her. Because that's not like a regular Kedushan. That's only a Kedushan de Rabbanan. So there, Harizel or Yichnois, he can't marry her. Instead, he has to give her Chalitza and a get for the Mimer. Kain Gadol Shemais Achiv. Kain Gadol, whose brother dies and the wife falls to him. Again, she's a widow. So, Chaylet Tzvloi Miyam Midas Chalitza and not Yibam. Mishnah tells us as follows. Kayin hedyet lo yisa islanus, a kayin hedyet, and this is true as the Rishonim say for regular Yisra. You shouldn't marry an islanus, a woman that can't have children because a man has a mitzvah period of arivia. Elim kayin yeshal isha uvanim, unless he has another wife or he has already a boy and a girl, he already fulfilled period of arivia. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says a chiddush. Even if he has a wife and a children, lo yisa islanus, a kohen shouldn't marry an islanus. Why? Because Rabbi Yehuda calls that a zaina. 
because it's a relationship which is only for lust. It's not for having children. Uh, because he says, she zaino amura batayr. He has a broad interpretation of not taking the zaina, that any relationship which is not to bring about children, it's forbidden to marry such a woman. The chacham, I mean the chacham say, no, it's allowed. Ain zaina, the title of zaina is only elegiyiris and mishukreris. If he, he's forbidden to marry a giyiris who is megayir after three years and one day, and a mishukreris and ever shifcha kananis who was freed after three years and one day, vishinivala b'ilas nus, or if they had a bias nus, like uh, a bia with an arayas, or bia with an iser, like a, a mamzer or a nasen, but a bia out of wed like that does not is not considered a zaina. Um, if you noticed, I uh, did record it. I don't like to take up the time to bother you with recording. When I do, it's because I have something extracurricular. So tonight, after the daf, we will have a chok. So whoever wants to hear the chok can join us with a chok. I just heard now that Reb Elia is playing hooky tonight. He's, uh, you know, these excuses. He's going to a chasen. Who ever heard of such an excuse? Uh, you should only have such excuses. But anyway, uh, somebody extra wants to come from our Baruch Hashem. We had last night 17 people by the second Marv. So Baruch Hashem, it's an experiment that so far is working out.